Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn IT. Today we will be having another session for our use case scenario for requirement fulfillment which we use in our day to day development activities. If you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT. Please watch my videos till the end for complete information. Okay, so this is our use case. Hide button from related list under RITM record in service now. So let's move further and see what is the use case. So we have to hide new button from related list under RITM record for a specific catalog item. Okay. So I will show you how we can do this in our personal developer instance. So let's move further. As you can see, I have logged into my personal developer instance. And now I will show you how we can implement our use case in ServiceNow instance for requested item table. So let's move further. Okay, so this is our uh, requested item table. We can see like Apple iPad 3 is requested every time so let me try to create new item first so let me find another items and raise because i will show you what is the implementation which is required as part of this use case okay so let me click on access okay let me try to raise a request for this access Okay, so I will click on order now. And we can see now access item is raised. Okay, now we will just refresh this list. Okay, now what I will do is like I will try to create a related list control for a new button. So how I will do is like this is the requested item table and you can see we are having a new catalog task button. So we will restrict as part of uh, uh, access. We will restrict the creation of new catalog task under RITM. Okay, so I will omit this particular new button for this particular item. Okay, if item is access then this new button will not be visible. But if item is any other from access, this new button will be visible. Okay, so how we can achieve this? I will show you. So you can see we are having a configure list control, right? So under requested item form catalog task related list, we are opening a configuration for list control. So let me try to open a list control. So we can see there are like omit new button here okay and we have to do a condition base okay so what we have to do is like we have to like enable the script scripting um, uh, scripting section for new button so let me try to go to form layout and we will find omit a new condition okay same way we can do for edit condition as well so I am trying for omit new condition first. Okay. So let me click on save. And we will see the omit new condition uh, section is uh, visible now. And I will write a condition for new. Okay. So I will replace this condition. And I will write a condition. If. Why I am using a parent because uh, this this request is for SC task. This is the related list SC task, but parent is requested item. And what we are doing is like this new button will be hidden whenever any item is for parent list. Suppose this is the RATM is the parent of catalog task, and we will check the condition based on this item. That's why we are adding a condition as parent dot item. So what is the database name? We are finding a cat item. Okay. 
and let me copy this sys id for item and let me try to add a condition here parent dot cat underscore item you will check the access item okay now i will just i will write a condition a uh, condition is already written so i will just return a value true answer equal to false and we will check how it is executing right now whether it is executing correct or wrong so let us see so we can see we have written a omit new condition script here let me uh, like i have done the formatting of code and i will save it again and i will reload this ritm form and this ritm form why i have uh, opened these two items because one is for access and one is for ipad 3 okay so we can see in access item we have new button here and uh, here also we have new button here okay so let me check what what went wrong here okay so you can see i have missed a uh, database value name incorrect so i will add cat underscore item okay now i will save it and uh, reload my form again you can see now this is the access item and we are not able to see new button here but if we redirect for I, apple ipad 3 we can see the new button here okay I, I will try to reload it again and you will see the new button is visible under catalog task okay so this is the requirement which would be coming in some of the projects for uh, different clients okay so that's all about this uh, current use case Please provide your comment if you have any questions, doubts or queries related to this session. For more information, please visit description section under this video. Thanks for hearing me out. Stay tuned for more videos. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT.